Good morning, everyone. So today, today myself, Jessna, will handle you this chapter. Okay. Uh, in this unit, uh, you will learn overall outline of this module. Okay. So first, introduction of disaster. So what is the objectives of our lesson is you will uh, learn about the exposure of disaster, its style, and what are the significance in it, and then. I create you awareness about what to do and what to not do during disasters and the final thing is impact towards different age group of people. So this is the outcome also that you will learn and you will be able to handle the situation if some disasters happen near you, you will be able to handle the situation in a better way. So coming to disaster, you have heard the term disaster. So disaster in simple it is to say that it is a uh, consequence of an event. You will be like a, either you will hear a earthquake. So it is an event that takes place due to uh, escalation of uh, some uh, earthworks. If, uh, if you are constructing a dam, nearby we have an earthquake experience. It is because of the consequence of that event that is the event that we are constructing a dam. So that is known as disaster. So disaster may uh, may may end in losing of uh, environment, uh, the uh, peoples, the properties, etc. And coming to hazard. Hazard is simple to say it is luck or chance. That is, uh, luck may be or may not be happen. That is, a disaster may take place. You can or you cannot affect the people. May, may, may affect or else sometimes it may not. We have heard the term that is a uh, earthquake took place but we don't hear the um, number of death or uh, people suspected or anything like that so that is the chance or may or may not take place that is called as hazard so coming to vulnerability vulnerability is nothing but the characteristics of the circumstances of a community or a system that happens that is susceptible to damage the hazard the effect of hazard that is known as the vulnerability reliance reliance is uh, it depends on a particular person that is you may uh, take time to recover from that situation some may take a long period of time some may not so it, is, it depends on the individual to come out of particular effect or particular disaster that has taken place so risk, risk is the interaction between the livelihood and the hazard that is the consequence that took place so coming to types of disaster you all, you all know that types of disaster is of two types, that is natural and manual. So when coming to natural, it is land movement disaster. Land movement disaster is nothing but the avalanche, uh, earthquake and the volcanic eruption. Next, coming to health and diseases. Health and diseases is epidemic. So uh, the best example is COVID-19, which is an epidemic disease that is happening in and around us. So next, famine, gamma rays, uh, then uh, solar plays, etc. So weather is uh, weather disaster is a uh, uh, cyclone drought. This all depends on weather because uh, due to extreme heat drought may occur, right? So based on that, weather disaster takes place. Then coming to water disaster, plague, tsunami, etc. Then forest fire and uh, uh, wild fire. These are the examples for fire. So coming to man-made disaster. So man-made disaster occurs um, in places where, uh, like uh, re uh, recently, have heard a news that uh, while coming, and that is in Russia, uh, oil spill took place. So this all uh, comes under the man-made disaster. It is like a man or a person who uh, do, uh, do not care to, uh, uh, he or she is not careful in doing his work. So this man-made uh, disaster occurs. Sometimes it may be affecting a small group of people and sometimes it is a huge. So when it is huge, we say that's a disaster. So causes of disaster. So causes of disaster is based on each type of disaster, the causes also differ. So first coming to earthquake. Earthquake is due to liquefaction, then landslide and changing on land uh, elevation, tsunami and fires. Then coming to flood. It is, where, uh, it is due to tsunamis or the huge rainfall that happens or a collapsation of dams or the overflowing of rivers. Then coming to landslide. Landslide is due to heavy rain, deforestation, earthquake, volcanic eruptions. So then coming to drought, it is due to the weather pattern and excess water demand, then deforestation and soil uh, degradation, global warming and climate change. Then fire. So fire is due to, maybe due to lightning. When lightning occurs, fire may take place. So campfire, smoking, etc. 
So in nowadays uh, we can see fire due to campfire because people spend their time to stay in resort areas etc. and they campfire and this may cause or this may end in forest fires also. So as we discussed before. You will also learn about impacts, right? So impact is there uh, depends on different age group of people, different community of people, or the uh, area what they live depends upon the impact. So impact coming to impact, the first thing is social environment. Social environment is uh, if it is a slum region, the health gets easily affected because there won't be proper uh, drainage system or proper, uh, I mean. Uh, things to uh, dispose their garbage and waste etc. So this may affect their health. So next coming to economic factor. Uh, we know people mostly uh, mean carry out daily wages, right? Daily wages work they carry out. So depends upon that. So based on that due to a disaster their economic factors get disturbed. Then political. So when uh, we know that uh, there is a fund for uh, if some disaster happens they will raise that fund. So this, uh, this will be maintained by a either state government or central government. So we have heard uses, right? So raising of a fund uh, from state government, so this much and this much amount and from the central government we receive of amount of small amount. So this happens and uh, this is political where the government areas, suppose the government is affected, so there uh, it impacts here. So government or the particular area people, their panchayat or the uh, Local corporations get affected. Then coming to mitigations, uh, natural disasters. This is a disaster cycle, management cycle that you learn in a second uh, unit. So there you will be like uh, mitigations, preparedness, response, and recovery. This is a cycle that will take place. So at finally, is the overall thing affects this. I uh, mean, finally, it is in poverty conditions. So the poverty condition is like nothing but low income. So they either go for a low income job, they, they won't be depending on the old job that they uh, were doing. They think that at least the food for them to eat on that day is enough. So they go for a job etc. And uh, it depends on the age group of people. So when coming to age group of people, so, so first thing is little babies, kids etc. So they, they will not be aware about the situation what happened actually. So when they are not aware about it, they will not uh, put complete uh, concentration in that. But something they know, something happened around them, they might know, but they will not be like uh, strong as an adult or at the old man. So coming to old age people, it affects in their health. So sudden changes, they may not, uh, I mean, they may not able to accept it. And when it is coming to middle adult, uh, sorry, middle age people. Like uh, this middle age people will be like uh, uh, they have to do the job, they have to see the family, they have to see their kids, they have to see the elderly people. Whether if it is like health issues, they have to take them to the hospitals and they need to supply every need that they that the people want. That is from water to food, shelter, everything they have to carry out. So this affects the different age of group, group at different manners. Then the next term is familiar term that is climate change. Coming to climate change, uh, you have seen people nowadays uh, taking, seeing around, uh, creating awareness on climate change, creating uh, logos, creating uh, pamphlets, and many things happening because of this climate change. Now we can experience a very hot temperature. So sometimes you can uh, gradually this climate changes. Either it is very rainy or else it is very cool. So this climatic changes like we don't have a period of time to change. It changes gradually or it changes day by day. So this happens due to the climatic effect or the climatic uh, activities that a uh, human disturbs the nature. When the human disturbs nature, this all happens. So coming to climate change. It is refers to the significant change in global temperature, precipitation, uh, wind patterns and the other measures of climate that occurs over several decades or longer. Then causes, coming to causes, it is due to the volcanic eruption. How come volcanic eruption changes the climate? So volcanic eruption, when, it is, when the volcanic uh, eruption comes, the people or the surrounding there will be a very hot or very heat temperature will be prevalent. So coming to instruments. So this is the burning of uh, waste or burning of something. 
so it creates air pollution and this air pollution will affect to the rain and this this process goes on in that is called as water cycle so the complete water cycle gets affected so coming to pollution so again forest fire so these things everything affects our nature so we know the main thing is tree so when forest fire occurs trees get destroyed or deforestation or these are the causes of the uh, climate change and then so then effects coming to affect us so the sea level increases when it is very hot the sea level completely increases glaciers gets melted or the icebergs gets melted and this will increase the sea level and this will uh, mean end in tsunamis floods etc then coming to extreme weather condition this extreme weather condition we know as i said before in volcanic eruption the surrounding area will be uh, very hot so when it is very hot it uh, affects the human health Either it, or you will get skin rashes, sunburns, etc. And increased precipitation. So coming to increased precipitation, there will be uh, this will result in I uh, mean huge amount of rain. Rainfall will be more, and this will again result in flood, tsunami, etc. Then risk to the nature. Yeah, risk to the nature. That is, we are very aware about it. So for this example, uh, it is like we see trees cut down. That is, deforestation takes place. Uh, for constructing a road or a building or the agriculture land is nowadays we are completely destroying it to build a plot or a apartment etc so that's all about this today section and uh, i think you will you would mean like uh, you will be able to scope many more things uh, i mean in forthcoming disaster or it would create awareness and you should create awareness about the climate